Wayne Dobson is arguably the top comedy magician in the UK over the last century. He's here today, he's going to share with us about his incredible career, his courageous life, but first to tell you a little bit more, Jeff McBride. Thank you very much. Thank you. For the few people that may be new to magic or have never seen Wayne Dobson in action, we're going to show you a little clip so you can get this in context. This clip is from the Royal Command performance for the Queen of England and the Royal Family at the Palladium in London. It doesn't get any bigger than this. And this clip launched Wayne Dobson into stardom as the top uh, comedy magician in the UK. I need a toilet. Hold on. One minute, okay? I'm going to do it. Please don't do it. I just did it. Did you? That's it. Harry, take your hand off your wrist. Would you do that for me? Keep that hand closed, but turn it over. Place the other hand over the top like so. Very carefully unfold the bottom hand. Once you've unfolded the bottom hand, separate your hands with one ball in each hand, and the audience will go wild with applause. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Harry Carpenter, Frank Bruno, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Dobson. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, there's an old saying in this business that says it's nice to be important. Best of Dobson, uh, all of those, um, Magic Life, all of those. But I hear that um, you have a magic trick that did not get into the book that you'd like to perform today. <laughs> now, you had some early influences. Could you talk about some yeah. of your early influences? There was Roy Johnson and? Ken Merck. Mm -hmm. um, Roy Johnson uh, was the one who persuaded me to... Uh, Give up my property. Las Vegas Hilton, which was Elvis's room. Look at those pants. The, the largest room in Las Vegas. Yeah. Look at those pants. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the cool thing. I think this is amazing. You're working the, one of the largest, it was the largest theater in Vegas, the largest proscenium arch, I think, in the world, even bigger than uh, Radio City Music Hall. Set thousands of people, two balconies. Tell them what props you used for your show. Sponge balls, five cards, and uh, vanishing cigarette. <laughs> what, what are you doing here? I'm uh, practicing my watch. <laughs> On your television show, you had a number of advisors, and one of those advisors was Patrick Page. Patrick Page. I shouldn't have. Uh, yeah. I should have listened to what he said. What, what did he say? I don't know. Didn't listen. <laughs> didn't listen. <laughs> I'm writing that down. <laughs> that is great. So you now this is how you coped with your MS, right? Yeah, laughter. With laughter. Well, I think laughter is the best medicine. Yes. Unless, no, unless, you always unless you're a diabetic, <laughs> then uh, insulin is better. <laughs> the reason I'm in the wheelchair is because I'm a lazy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Now you've developed a whole uh, a series of book series yeah. for of, of magic that doesn't use the hands. It's all hands-free magic, correct? Yeah. What's the name of this? Look no end. <laughs> and good effects. They're wonderful books. Do you have any words of wisdom? Remember at the end of the day, 
It's going to be night. You should be proud if you got that joke. Well, I do not. I've got friends like you. Audience like this. I'm happy. But what would make me even happier if you bought some of my crap? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Dobson!